great drinks and they left us with a very large iPhone on stage. Pedro Ricard of Spain. Hola, soy Ricardo y hoy es mi primer día. Me han dicho que al llegar pregunte por recursos humanos. Hola Ricardo, bienvenido a Plaza Rica. ¿Te esperas un momento, por favor? Claro. Hola Ricardo, bienvenido. Hola, estoy muy feliz de estar aquí. Fíjate cómo será que desde que me llamaste Allá por donde voy, busco nuestras marcas. Te veo ya muy comprometida, ¿no? ¿Tienes ganas de empezar? Hombre, estoy pagando todo. Fenomenal. Pues vamos lo primero a ver a tu jefe. Vale. position mm, for two years and I haven't promoted yet. What can I do? Mm? ¿Qué está pasando? Have eh? any of you been in a similar situation before? Oh. Nobody? It, yes. Okay, a few people there. Well, we have. So that's why we created Ricardo. We needed oh. our managers to to know that the the way they address these situations has a direct impact on what we at Panorica think is the the key part on any manager's role, which is managing a team. In Panorica, we started a cultural transformation three years ago, and it's still running. In this process, managers have been identified as a key change level. However, at that time, our managers were still too focused on daily tasks rather than on strategy. And as Lide mentioned, uh, on a key part of the role, at least for us, which is managing people. Leadership, strategy alignment, and people management were obviously not topics that came into focus at that particular time. In fact, we had been working on those for a long time. We had. Um, Create and develop many initiatives around those topics for a long time. But it was in this process when we realized that what we had done so far with traditional training mainly was clearly not enough. At that time, we still had to make our managers aware of the importance of the key scope of their role in terms of employee engagement and when it comes to conveying the company objectives and values. And um, how did we do it? You know, the spirits industry is exciting, is glamorous, but it's also um, demanding and very challenging. And this is something we like very much. We like to challenge the way we do things. Oh! <laughs> In the team, we have the special mo those special moments when we just sit down and share those the craziest ideas. And um, it may sound uh, uh, normal, but believe me, when I say crazy ideas, they really are. So it was one during one of those sessions uh, when um, Tamagotchi. Uh, uh, oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, Tamagotchi. Yes, uh, uh, Tamagotchi. Got Tamagotchi. Into the city. <laughs> we, we thought, why don't we replicate the Tamagotchi concept Tamagotchi. for people management? Wow. And that's how gamification naturally um, fitted our change management strategy as naturally as the Tamagotchi eventually became what we have today, Ricardo. Ah, uh, okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We wanted you all to have the most real experience as, as possible, and that's what we brought in with us. But of course, uh, don't panic, the real thing is to have him on your phone, not to carry him around with you all day. That would be really weird, okay? So, Ricardo is a people development app, through which we defy our managers to, to become the ideal Panoricar managers. 
um, it's a game-based experience that challenges them, that helps them develop their, their team developing skills and also to compete to, to be their best. The storyline behind uh, Ricardo, it's a storyline that has been created when working together with a big group of Panoricar managers, um, sharing the, the situations and the stories we've all been through uh, throughout our, our career, you know, because there's really many real situations that we put into, into Ricardo. And it's very simple to use, it's super simple to use. Just go down memory lane. I bet more than half of the room have ever had a technology before. Right? No? You are very young either. <laughs> Not that young. <laughs> okay, well, with this I just mean that uh, the Tamagotchi just get got uh, hungry or thirsty, but Ricardo just measures two other variables. Ricardo measures the development and the, no, sorry, the engagement and the performance. So the, the better your answers to these questions are, the more, um, the higher will be uh, his performance and development rates will be. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, my English is very bad. Eh? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't feel comfortable with my new colleague and I don't want to work with him. Again, another situation, I'm sure at least in HR, many of us have had to face at least once. Uh, what do you think what the manager's reaction should be? As you can see on the screen, the app provides two to four possible answers. Some are good, some are bad, and some are, as we say in Spanish, in between. No matter what the, um, the final choice is on the answer, Ricardo uh, provides oh. a brief feedback on what the expected behavior should be. Because at the end of the day, what we want is our managers to understand why, uh, whether they choose one answer or the other, it has a direct impact on either and or engagement and performance. Oh my God. And it has really um, uh, an impact. And that's how we get to have a sense on how they're doing, on how our managers are inspiring and moving their teams into action and ultimately by empowering them. It's all about empowerment, how they deliver company results. But of course, most, many or most of you would think that working on, uh, based on a feeling or in a sense is not business-like at all. Fortunately, uh, there is a great team behind this project and our app has a real sound basis with three pillars. First, the situations. The situations that the managers have to face have been designed around our key HR processes, for, as, uh, for example, the uh, performance review, our main corporate milestones, such as, for example, uh, the preparation of our um, strategic plan, and business as usual situations day to day. This gives us uh, more or less 200 situations assessed in seven categories, aligned with the Pernod Ricard leadership model. Yes. Second, the duration of the game. It simulates two full fiscal years, that is 24 months, um, 24 days, sorry, and each day representing a month. All the situations, uh, all those 200 situations, have been scattered throughout the, the, this period, making Ricardo a full member of your team. And third, uh, though we've heard yesterday um, that gamification is not all about competition, for us it's been really important. And it's been really important because it's triggered stronger motivation, stronger engagement, and an open and transparent rivalry between the players, between our managers competing against each other with one single objective, and that is embodying the Pernod Ricard manager role. Bois. On top of that, you can interact with Ricardo, let's say in a friendly way. You can invite him to a football match, you can take him out for dinner, you can even care about him, show you care about him when he looks down. In fact, nothing really to boast about, but it's Mm, business as usual, just as you would do if Ricardo was a real member of your team. 
What do I learn that my colleague is uh, we do the learn jobs? Jobs? Job. Again, jobs. this is um, another jobs. situation to showcase the variety jobs. of topics that we can address with, with Ricardo. Uh, we think that no project jobs. is successful unless it adds value to the stakeholders and jobs. it brings something new to the table. Jobs. So this is why this weird word that just came up on the screen, um, we like to focus on the WIFs. And the WIFs is nothing else than just stands for, for what's in it for. We, we analyzed what each person involved in this project got out of it. Oh so my God. For example, oh my God, yes. Yeah. For example, what's in it for the managers? In this case, the managers are the players, the ones who play Ricardo. Um, they get to learn, they get to develop their management skills, they get to do it in a fun way, in an engaging way, and actually um, learning uh, how to develop their, their team. Um, they do this on the job. I mean, um, I'm sure we all prefer to actually do things rather than just listening to them. Oh. So Ricardo allows you to learn on the job. Technically said, this is just moving your motivation to learn from extrinsic to intrinsic. <laughs> so what's needed for the organization? Uh, well, Ricardo is a very powerful tool to engage the company strategy with a key group yeah. of, of employees. Um, of course, we had to sell this project in-house, so we had to monetize the project. And I can tell you that it's very cost and time efficient. Uh, we can't forget that we do work for Pernorica, which is a private-owned company with shareholders to whom we actually have to, to give answers somehow. So even though um, Ricardo's goal is to, to improve the people, the managers' people development skills or abilities, our ultimate goal is, through Ricardo, to actually has a, have a positive impact on the business, on our business. Um, this is, these are a few numbers just to showcase um, what we've uh, measured so far. The time and cost savings are quite self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go into it. I just want to take two seconds to explain that 3% we see on the screen. That just means that um, in our performance <coughs> reviews, the performance reviews rated as excellent have grown 3% from last year to this year on the key group that has already been through Ricardo, which is a group of approximately uh, 40 managers. Um, also, we don't want to forget that in this digital era we're all going through somehow, though most of you are probably way ahead of us, um, we, for us, for big companies, in this case particularly for Panoripad, these kind of actions are a way to, to introduce all these trends into our ways of working, rather than just seeing that there's, there may be a trend there, so blindly following that trend without really in, integrating it into your strategy or your training plan or your anything, really. So this is why um, we, we found a way to, to put it together and, and integrate it within our ways of working. Yes. And also, we need to address the, what's in it for the team. Because of course, every manager has a team. And every team has a manager. So this is basically like asking, what came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Because if the managers improve their leadership um, skills, improve their team management skills, they will have a, a more engaged team, a more developed team, and a better performing team. But also, if the team is more performing, is well developed, and is engaged, we will in the end for sure have um, a pool of powerful future managers. So this is really a win-win situation for, for everybody. And we can't go without saying that there's much more to it than what we see. There's much more to it than the actual app, you know? Behind that, there's all this data we can extract. Not only the, um, the competition ingredient that Melanie highlighted, if that's very important, and we, we've, proved it, we've proved that it was very useful in our case, but also here we want to address that the data we extract, we, we can know who downloaded the card on the first day, who did it on the third day, or who never did it. Um, the answers they, they give to any question, the seven categories we have and how each person did on each one of them and with all that data what we use it for is to create individual development plans for the people that play the garden in this case. Uh, 
So far, 45 top Hi. managers have played Ricardo uh, oh. with excellent results. Uh, Although he's a bit um, nasty. Hi. <laughs> 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 um, the next phase is being rolled out just as we speak, targeting 80 managers in the organization. And from what we've heard so far, we can expect also very good results. Okay. What we've learned from this experience is that if, we, if you want to obtain different results, if you want to change something, you have to change the way you address it, you have to change your approach. Thank you. And this is what we did in Pernod Ricard. We had a key and recurrent business issue, which was managing people, and we chose to address it, to address it in an innovative way. What, what we accomplish is that now our managers are much more aware, we still have a long way to go, but our managers are much more aware uh, of the fact that how they relate with their teams uh, has um, an impact and favors high performing teams and ultimately, and again I'm, I'm repeating with what Lisa said just earlier, it has an impact on our PNL. To end with, we're almost done, to end with, um, I'd like to say that one of the key success factors of this project has been that gamification naturally fits into our culture. Um, naturally fits into our culture. Uh, we are creators de convivialité. That is, we create and love to share enjoyable moments with uh, our customers. Bien entendu, but first and foremost with our employees. We hope that the three of us, Lide, Ricardo and myself, yes. have been able to convey the passion we've put into this project. We'll be happy to share our, our experience with you all later on or tonight, obviously, with one of our brands in hand. And until then, Ricardo. Uh, <laughs> Come out of the phone. Oh, oh, oh my God! Venga, vale, ven. Oh my God! Vale. Melanie, <laughs> uh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Tal da tu cual cual que se llama Karina. Foto? Why not? Ah, foto is foto. <laughs> oh my God! Mm. Can you all smile to be in our picture, please? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, iPhone? Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, come on, baby. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, baby. My, my mother. My mother. Come on, baby.